The structure of this section of Matthew is first the parable of the children, then the prayer of thanks to God, and then the address to the audience as those who are weary and are carrying heavy burdens. And the dynamics of this are first the playful intro, which what it does is to involve the listeners and get them you know, connected in some way with what's going on, identifying with the children sitting in the marketplaces. At least you can look at them and imagine this metaphor of children sitting in the marketplace and kind of taunting each other. So in this case, accusing other children of, you know, we played for you, but you wouldn't dance, and, and we wailed, but you wouldn't mourn. So it, it puts the burden of responsibility on the other children. And then Jesus uses that metaphor as a way of describing the critique of John the Baptist and of him, each of them very different, but they're finding ways to criticize him. And so that playfulness, I think, also extends in relation to, you know, not taking too seriously these critiques, but that that is a basis of then his critique of them for just trying to look for something to be critical about. Jesus' prayer is a real prayer, a prayer between him and God, his Father, the Lord of heaven and earth, and it is about the way in which God has revealed the secrets of the kingdom of God to little ones, to those who are not necessarily wise and intelligent in the eyes of the world. And the sign of that in relation to the logic of these sayings is then that all things have been handed over to the Son, to me, by my Father. But that is simply a sign of the way in which both wisdom has been vindicated and also that these things have been revealed to infants, to those who were not respected in the eyes of the world, namely to Jesus. And that Jesus knows the Father, and the Father in turn knows him. The last part of this, then, builds on the identification with Jesus that is invited by the prayer and the description of this inside track that is present in relation to the knowledge of God to anyone to whom Jesus chooses to reveal God, and clearly all the listeners are chosen to have these things revealed to them. And Jesus' words here are words of consolation to those who are weary and are weighed down. This may imply in part a contrast between his way of interpretation of the Torah, of the law, and that of the Pharisees, who multiplied the number of requirements so that they became you know, a heavy burden. And so this would fit with then his critique of the Pharisees and his critics earlier in this talk. But it is directed at people who are being overwhelmed by a variety of things, I think. You know, work, children, family, not having enough money, and then religious obligations that made things more difficult. So the spirit of this part of Jesus' address is a spirit of, on the one hand, a kind of gentle teasing about those who are his critics, and then an invitation to the people to come to him and to be part of his community.